Hi everyone, it's Rory and I'm back with another One Minute Masterclass. Alright, so today we're going to be talking about subdivisions. Subdivisions are how we divide music and time in, in different rhythms. Alright, so the most music that we listen to and that we hear on the radio is in 4-4 four, four time. Meaning, we're going to go 1-2-3-4-1-2-3-4. Four. All right, we never count to five, we never just count to three, we always count to four, and then start a bit again back at beat one. All right, so after you have those four beats, which are called quarter notes, because they last one quarter of the bar, okay, a bar is all four of those beats put together, that equals one bar or one measure. Uh, after you get all four of those beats, you can then cut them into little pieces, and that's called subdividing. All right, so I'm going to explain to you guys the three main kinds of rhythms that we use in 4-4 four, four time uh, in most musical situations. All right, so to show you that, I'm going to get my guitar. Okay, so first, I'm going to start off by playing you guys a quarter note groove, meaning I will only play on beats 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so here we go. It's going to sound like this. You go 1, 2, 3, So here, I'm playing every quarter note, but I don't have to. I can also play with some space. So I can go like this. I go just one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, so that, that works. Sounds solid. But if we want to spice it up a little bit, we can also add in eighth notes. Okay, so since we're in France, I'm not just going to talk about quarter notes and eighth notes. We're going to use baguettes. Okay, so... Imagine instead of four quarter notes, we have four beautiful, freshly cooked baguettes. Okay, now we're going to cut those four baguettes into two. Okay, each one is going to be cut into two. And now, rather than just counting one, two, three, four, we're going to count one and two and three and four and. Okay, now I'm going to play all of those eighth notes on the guitar. So it sounds like this. You go one. Okay, so again, I don't have to play all of those eighth notes all the time. I can play something like this. I go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and one and two. All right, something like that. It can still sound a bit boring at a tempo like that because it's so slow. There's a lot of space. Sometimes we want to spice it up, make it a bit funky. So to do that, rather than just dividing the beats or the baguettes in two, we're, we can divide them into four, okay? And those are called sixteenth notes. And all we're doing is we're, we're dividing each beat by four, okay? Or we're cutting our baguettes into four pieces now to share with your 16 friends. Okay, so now here is an example of me playing all of those sixteenth notes on the guitar. Okay, so you go one, two, and three, four, So you heard me also counting using some strange syllables. We go one e and a, uh, two e and a, uh, three e and a, uh, four e and a. Uh. So it sounds kind of silly, but it's just a really simple way to keep track of where you are in the bar. Okay, so now I'm going to take those sixteenth notes and I'm going to add some space, play around with those rhythms, and it's going to sound more complex, but also a lot more interesting. Okay, so let's go one e and two and a. Uh, Okay, so after you learn those chord notes, eighth notes, and sixteenth notes, uh, it's going to take you a while to get used to them and get fluent with them. Uh, but just make sure you know you're using baby steps. If you can't get something right away, don't worry about it. With time, you'll get better. Okay. Uh, so the main reason that it's super duper useful to learn this stuff is because it will help you lock in 
with the band way, way better, okay? A lot of people, they learn their guitar parts or their piano parts. Uh, drummers do it as well, so they learn their drum parts, especially if they learn by ear, and they're not sure if they're supposed to be playing on the beat or on the E or the A, uh, if they're playing 16th notes or on the ands, okay? And it leads to really imprecise rhythms, and sometimes the guitarist will think he's supposed to be playing on beat one, when, say, the piano player thinks they're supposed to be playing on beat two, and you'll get two people playing at different times, when actually they're supposed to be playing at the same time. And it leads to a lot of rhythmic mess. Okay, so, to me, that is one of the most important things in music, is just knowing when and where you're supposed to play, and then syncing up with your bandmates and creating a groove. All right, to review, we have quarter notes, which last one full beat. So one, two, three, four. And then we have eighth notes, which last a half beat. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and four. Now sixteenth notes. So if at first you're pretty unsure of how to play all those, get out of Mushroom and try playing them just like that. Just play two chords that you know, or you don't even have to play chords, you can just dampen the strings, or play piano, whatever. Take it nice and slow, practice singing those syllables along with the metronome, and that will really, really help you visualize and, and lock down your time when it comes to playing with other people. Okay, so thanks again for joining me for today's One Minute Masterclass. I hope you learned something. I'll see you next time.